coming i woke up with the word unique so immediately i opened up my journal to identify what the subconscious mind is trying to guide me with this word unique i started doing automatic writing automatic writing is one of the technique i teach to my intuitive training participants where the guidance is come from your subconscious mind you need to write down the word on the top of the page and then softly hold the pen and just allow the thoughts to flow onto the paper rule of thumb was the first thought that came for uniqueness that god has created each one of us unique he created a mold and then when we were created the mold was destroyed so no two human beings are same each one of us have a different unique fingerprint even the twins have a different fingerprint but in today's time most of us want to behave like somebody they admire actor they admire professional successful people and they start behaving like them they want to be like them forgetting about their own unique strength i am laila ahmed an intuitive trainer author and a therapist Today I am going to share with you being unique being authentic. Yes, you may follow the one whom you admire to a certain extent, but you can't be like them. Even I admire many authors, many trainers, but I can't be like them. I have to follow my own unique strength. Each one of us are born unique. We are born with unique strength. We are born with unique wisdom. we are born with unique capability we are born with unique powers we are born with unique gifts but what we don't open our gift we don't identify our strength how we are going to expand in our life we are blessed we are unique with this unique strength we need to create infinite possibilities for growth and success each morning when we wake up it's different no two mornings are same Each day when we meditate no two days meditations are same god has created each thing so differently so we also need to embrace our uniqueness and shine in our own light now i am sharing pearl of intuition listen carefully this pearl has changed my life and it might change yours too live your life today as others won't live your life today as others won't so that you live the rest of your life as most people can't this is very powerful be unique be courageous to create something new be courageous to walk a new path no matter what the outcome if you don't follow the new path if you don't follow your unique strength you will end up blaming Their entire life will go in blaming. You might say, "I wanted to become an actor, but my father did not allow me. I wanted to be a doctor, and my parents could not afford." Stop blaming yourself. Stop blaming other people. Start taking responsibility. Don't be a puppet in life. Being unique is growing all the time. No matter what you believe into, no matter how badly you have been hurt. but you need to keep on expanding even if you have achieved success do not stop expand like a huge tree keep on growing keep on expanding be yourself and be kind to others if you do that life will turn out very differently than you have thought but if you don't do that life will be painful you will try to fit in but you will not be able to you will try to behave differently but your mask will not allow you to be authentic you will try to be like others thinking others will accept you if you behave like them but you will never feel complete you might fit in from outside but inside you will never feel complete you will never feel happy you will never feel peaceful be who you are created to be and you will set the world on fire have you ever asked yourself what i have been created for This is a very important question one needs to ask always at the start of my positive parenting workshop I ask parents to describe their children unique strength if the parents are aware of their children's unique strength the kid has an additional advantage 
but there are few parents who are just raising their children and trying to make them what they couldn't be creating stress even in my intuitive training program i ask people tell me something about yourself i have come across very few people who are aware what they are what are their strength and what they would like to contribute to the society but most of them talk about themselves the way they have been programmed or they have overheard people telling them a couple of years ago a young guy was attending my intuitive training program when i asked him tell me something about yourself and he mentioned that i am a very angry person i can stand fearlessly against anybody in the world no matter whether the person is a policeman or a politician but later when he was asked to share about his unique strength he mentioned that he would drive his car above the lime and chilies found on the road in india there is a ritual to tie lime and chilies on the car to ward off the negative energy and this guy says that he is driving over it why so that other people are not affected by the negative energies so when you look at this there are two different personality he is describing an angry personality and this personality is full of caring and compassionate imagine his core reality is being compassionate but what reality he is carrying is probably what he has heard over and over again as he was growing up so if the person operates from the core reality his entire life can change we need to ask ourselves what are we created for and this creation is for this particular moment we are playing many roles in our life for example first we are children to our parents later we become parents to our children we are students to our teachers and later while growing up some are teachers to the students these are just the role play we do in this life drama but what is our core essence our core essence is where our life keeps on revolving most of us have forgotten our core reality which is very important for us to identify our core reality in tarot reading when we do the celtic cross the first card that we pull out is the core card so if your core card is matching your core reality your life will be very smooth talking about myself my core strength is making complicated subject easier to understand complex theories are converted into simple techniques which anybody can use so that they can grow in their personal and professional life though i am not a very career oriented person i am enjoying my life because i am on my purpose and i am contributing to society with my unique strength on several occasion i have said life is simple but we complicated with our limited thinking and limited understanding how to create a simple life in order to create a simple life we need to understand our core strength if our core strength is clear we will be able to move forward with ease let us take an example mother teresa core essence was serving humanity unconditionally so no matter what she did her life will revolve around serving humanity unconditionally if she moved away from her core essence probably her life would have been different so no matter what career choice you make no matter what passion you are working with no matter what profession you are choosing your core essence will be the center point for example if creativity is your core center it is your core essence then it doesn't make a difference whether you are a photographer or whether you are an artist whether you are a dress designer or a software engineer you can choose any field but creativity is the core essence of your field and your life will be revolving around being creative what is it that i am meant to be what makes me happy what brings in more peace into my life what is that unique contribution i can make to the world imagine if all of us follow their unique strength we have much more to contribute to the society we can set the world on fire with our unique strength unique capabilities making a difference in the world since you are here up till now 
I would give you a bonus affirmation. You need to read this affirmation every single day. The transcript of the affirmation will be written in the description below. You are unique and you are going to win. I am different, that is why I win. I am unique and that is why I am great. I am not like anyone else on the planet. I am grateful for who I am becoming. I am grateful for who I am. I am committed to be myself and speak my truth at all times. And I know that the only time the right person will show up in my life, those who are meant for me with love and support and be real with real me. I am done with the fake version of me. I will stand tall and I will stand strong in my purpose and everything that matters to me. I am different. That is why I am me. This is a very simple affirmation you can repeat every day. When you are repeating this affirmation over and over again and you are meditating upon it, you will know your unique strength. What are the gifts you are born with? What are the talents you are born with? What additional specific wisdom God has granted you with? Don't die with the music within. Yesterday night while I was driving back, I was listening to the radio. A singer was mentioning about his singing career. He said that when he began his singing journey, he was singing on the stage. But he was not acknowledged and neither he would make money. He wanted money so he had to sing popular songs. He made a lot of money but that did not make him happy. So later on along with those popular songs, he started developing his own skills, his singing skills and eventually today he is a successful singer. So we all have a unique strength. We all have a contribution to make to the society in a unique way. Let your uniqueness flow freely to your family and friends whom and whomever you meet. You are here for a purpose and if you are following your purpose with your own unique strength, you will be successful. If you have loved this Pearls of Intuition, do like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends so together we can make a difference. Light and fragrance to all of you.